Hello mga kaheneral! Ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ang proseso sa pag-compute ng grades o Computation of Summative Assessment for Grades 1 to 12. Ito ay base sa Deped Order Number no. 31, Series of 2020. From Deped Order Number no. 31, Series of 2020, entitled Interim Policy Guidelines for Assessment and Grading in Light of the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan. From Number 5 Procedures, Number 16. It says that, to evaluate student learning at particular points in each quarter, summative assessment shall continue in the form of written works and performance tasks. Letter A. Written Works Written works shall be administered to assess essential knowledge and understandings through quizzes and long tests or unit tests. Items should be distributed across the cognitive process dimensions from Depth at 2015, page 4, using a combination of selected response and constructed response formats so that all are adequately covered. Letter B, Performance Task. Performance tasks refer to assessment tasks that allow learners to show what they know and are able to do in diverse ways. They may create or innovate products or do performance-based tasks, including skill demonstrations, group presentations, oral work, multimedia presentations, and research projects. It is important to note that written outputs may also be considered as performance tasks from Depth at 2015, pages 7 to 8. Annex B provides a list of sample, summative, the purpose of this policy. Number 20. Record of Progress. The collection and recording of evidences of learning is integral for monitoring student learning and development. Listed below are some sample strategies for this purpose. A. Self-monitoring tool. C. Annex E. Consider the needs of learners per key stage. Example, early grades need assistance from parents, while older learners are expected to accomplish self-reflection tools on their own. Letter B. Check-ins of teacher with learner. During assessment period. Letter C evidence of learning in the student's learning portfolio. Number 25. For the current school year, quarterly assessment shall not be administered. However, days allotted for quarterly assessment in Deped Order Number 7, Series of 2020, or the school calendar and activities for school year 2020 to 2021 may be used for the presentation of major performance for the quarter that addresses the performance standard. Quarterly examinations were given a weight of 20% constantly in Deped Order No. 8, Series of 2015. Since it will no longer be a part of the grading system for this school year, its previously determined weight was distributed equally into written works and performance tasks, allotting an additional 10% to each component. This maintains an emphasis on performance tasks for some learning areas. We have new components, ang written work at performance task. Ang written work ay binubuo ng mga quizzes at long tests o unit tests. Ang performance task ay binubuo ng mga skill demonstrations, group presentations, oral works, multimedia presentations, research projects, at written outputs. Meron tayong tinatawag na percentage score o PS. Ibig sabihin, kailangan natin makompute ang percentage score sa written work at performance task sa pamamagitan ng formula. 
Ang formula natin ay learner's total score divided by highest possible score. At ang sagot ay palagi natin i-multiply sa 100%. Meron naman tayong tinatawag na weighted score. Ibig sabihin, kada subjects ay may nakasign sa kanila na percentage sa weighted score. Halimbawa, ang Filipino, English, AP, at ESP, itong apat na subjects ay parehas ng weighted score. Ang kanilang written works ay 40%. Performance task ay 60%. Sumagtala sa subjects na science at math, ang kanilang written works ay 50%. Performance task ay 50%. At ang subjects na MAPE at EPP o TLE, ang kanilang written works ay 30%. Ang performance task ay 70%. Magbibigay tayo ng halimbawa sa pag-compute ng grade. Halimbawa, i-co-compute natin ang grade sa Filipino, English, AP at ESP. Dahil parehas naman sila ng weighted score. Uunahin natin ang pag-compute sa written works. Ito ang mga total items. Ito naman ang mga score ni Juan. 85 ang highest possible score. At 77 naman ang total score ni Juan. Para makuha ang PS, kailangan ang 77 i-divide natin sa 85. At ang sagot ay imumultiply natin sa 100%. Kaya ang percentage score ay 90.59%. Para makuha ang WS, kailangan ang 90.59% imumultiply natin sa 40%. Kaya ang weighted score ay 36.24%. Tumako naman tayo sa performance task. Ito ang mga total items. Ito naman ang mga total score ni Juan. 75 ang highest possible score. At 56 naman ang total score ni Juan. Para makuha ang percentage score, kailangan ang 56 i-divide natin sa 75. At ang sagot i-multiply natin sa 100%. Kaya ang percentage score ay 74.67%. Para makuha ang WS, kailangan ang 74.67% ay imumultiply natin sa 60%. Kaya ang weighted score ay 44.80%. Ano compute natin na weighted score sa written works na 36.24% at performance task na 44.80% ay kailangan natin itungkal. Ang total ay 81.04%. Ito ang ating initial grade. Ang 81.04% ay may katumbas na grade sa transmutation table. Ang katumbas nito na grade ay 88. Ang transmitted grade na 88 ay makikita natin sa report card. Ito naman ang tinatawag na Transmutation Table Sa Transmutation Table, nakapaloob ang actual grade o yung initial grade at ang katumbas na transmitted grade o yung card grade. Ito naman ang Digital slash Printed Modular Learning TV slash RBI and Homeschooling Dito nakapaloob ang mga learning area written outputs, products, at performance-based task. Ito naman ang sample self-monitoring tool. Dito nakapaloob ang pangalan ng mag-aaral, baitang at pangkat, pangalan ng magulang o guardian ng mag-aaral, petya na sakop ng form, letter A para sa mag-aaral. Nakapaloob dito ang mga araw mula lunes hanggang sabado. Tapos, may mga tanong na tatlo. Una, anong mga asignatura ang napag-aralan mo ngayon? Pangalawa, kamusta ka sa mga aralin ngayon? Alin sa mga ito ang madali para sa iyo? Bakit? 
Pangatlo, may mga gusto ka bang itanong sa iyong guro tungkol sa aralin? Ilista mo dito ang iyong mga tanong. Letter B, para sa magulang o guardian. Unang tanong, nagawa ba ng iyong anak ang kanyang mga gawain sa paaralan ngayong araw? Pangalawa, kumusta ang pag-aaral ng iyong anak? May mga gusto ka bang iulat o itanong sa kanyang guro? Isulat dito ang iyong mga puna, question o tanong. Letter C, para sa guro. Dito naman ilalagay ang mga komento at sagot. For a clearer discussion of the details, read more on Deped Order No. 31, Series of 2020. Thank you for watching and stay safe. Maalam!